Hey everybody, this is Scott Patton. We're uh, doing the Trader Genius Daily Stock Auction Review and it's for June 24th. It's a Friday and before we uh, go ahead with it, just wanted to point this out. This is the monthly chart for this Dow Jones Industrial Average. And you can see in 2018, nice, a little bit of a dip, then a little bit up, then down. And then it was kind of a little bit sideways in uh, 2020, sorry, 2019, and uh, jumped up at the end. And then there's the corona collapse, coronavirus collapse. But many people have been talking about some sort of correction. Obviously, nobody expected it to be this catastrophic. Uh, but people have been preparing for the last year. And if you look at the chart, you can see this is a monthly chart that uh, you know the thing is kind of the bears and the bulls are in a little bit of a stalemate and because it's been running for 10 years which is a lot you know seven years is a usual cycle uh, there's a lot of danger signals so you can't just assume because it's gone up for the last five years it's going to continue and the people are learning that lesson the hard way right now so we have a course we put together it's called it's on the bear market links are in the description and it's strongly recommend that you uh, that you take that course it'll really open your eyes as far as the bear market and uh, some things that you can do about it now having said that we're going to take a look at beyond meat there it is and I'm going to just uh, move forward a little bit see see what happens our goal is to show you there's opportunities to make money on the stock market regardless of whether it's going up or going down and uh, boy we're you know when it swings like it swung there's huge 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 opportunities okay so uh, here we are we're doing a little bit of a, a move up it's looking kind of interesting we're out of no man's land as I like to call it we've got uh, a little extra volume than we've got the, uh, it's an average day overall, cautious. There's a strong cyclical start, but very low volume. All right, so we're just going to, we've got the green paint, we've got the K band, we're kind of looking good. We'll just go ahead, maybe one. Well, I would say that that's time to get in. We're gonna buy a call, and we're gonna move forward. See what happens. We're moving forward, we made 13%. We just lost a little bit of it. We're at 18%. It's looking pretty good. We've still got the volume. The basket is actually going the opposite direction. And uh, we're now at two minute candles. Kind of smooths things out a little bit. And uh, we're, we're across that 945 top. Doesn't look like there's too much ahead of us. And I'm not here to teach you how to do this. I'm just here to show you that it's possible. And uh, this thing is still on a really good run, which is what happens in this type of market. We're just about 50%. Usually that's a, you know, you make 50% get out and go to the beach. But you know what, with coronavirus, we're all locked in. We can't go out. And should we stay in a little bit longer? I'm thinking we've got our little, uh, get out of jail free card here we're looking down you could probably stay in but I'm thinking this is a good time get out make your 50% and be happy and was that a good choice well looks like it might have been now we're back in no man's land we're, but yeah so now we're in stress right even though we would probably still making 30 or 40 percent we're in stress uh, now there was another trade so that one was going up <clears throat> There was another one that went down and it started at the same time. So it kind of shows you that some of the stocks, it's a cyclical, uh, it's a cyclical day. This one kind of went against the trend, but we're going to roll her back to uh, 930. And we're going to take a look at uh, Vantec, which is an oil stock. And where is it? Oh, 
All right, and this is one that went the opposite way. Now we're going to see where it goes. <clears throat> Still in no man's land. Not much happening. Just trying to get in, trying to get out. Okay, it worked out. It's still. Now we're getting a down move. It's breaking the bottom. All right, we've got a little bit of a trend going. The market is also red, so we're going to buy a put. Let's see how we go. Now we're getting some activity. Just now we're at five minute candles. Smooths out everything, makes it a little easier to see trends. Ooh, the market went green. We might have wanted to get out there, but we're still kind of below everything. And back on the red. Now we're at 50% again, like the last time. Probably it was a good time to get out. Um, we're just going to hang in there for just a little bit longer. Oh, might have made a mistake. This is where you kind of get stressed out. However, when you're at 40%, you can afford to stay in a little bit longer because you're playing with the bank's money, not your own. And we're still red. The market's kind of not doing much. Although it says strong red day, but low volume. And we're... Kind of... Huh, and while the basket's turning green, I'm kind of thinking we're at 67%. Uh, yeah, I don't want to, like, like that famous uh, stock investor used to always say, uh, the reason I made my money was I got in too late and I got out too soon. I don't know if we're too soon. It just looks like not much is happening and we're at 67%. So we're going to close that off. And just go a little bit further and see if anything happened. Still just kind of, well, now we're out of the red paint and nothing has happened. This is called high stress biting your nails and we don't want to do that. All right. And this is bringing us to one o'clock. And so we're going to go take a look now at poor old Zoom because they had a bad day. There it is. So nothing's happening. It's going, went down, went up, up and over the no man's land. Doesn't look like any decisions are being made. <clears throat> Doesn't look like uh, much is happening, which is why we have indicators, not indicators, we have alerts. You can set up alerts when something happens based on your rules. You'll be told about it. You'll hit a bing or hey, check out Zoom or something along those lines. So we're just going to continue moving along. And as you can see, not much is happening. But pretty soon, wow, looks like we've got a, a little bit of a green move there. That would have been good. But no, no strength. Oh, holy smokes. The bottom dropped out. Now, it's not really any way you're going to want to get in at the beginning of this because this is a wild and wacky thing. But when it moves like that, oftentimes the next time it moves just as crazily in the opposite direction. So you kind of have to sit here and 
think about it and decide what it is you want to do. It's got a huge, huge volume spike going down. It's dropped like a rock. The basket's not supporting it. Uh, but you know, a lot of volume here going down and the bulls and the bear, maybe there's some bad news, I don't know. But we're going to just uh, assume it's, we're going to assume, uh, we're not going to assume, uh, we're going to follow the trend if there is actually a trend here. And uh, well, see it jump back now, jump back down, jump back down, jump down, massive volume, all of it heading down, the bears are in full force, and we made 20% and I am thinking we're going to just get out because that's, uh, yay, 20 trades in my replay. Uh, it's just too volatile. I mean, it's just crazy. It jumped down that fast, right? Is it going to stay? I don't know, but I'll take my 20%. And it's looking green. Oh, still red. It's going lower, going lower. Could have stayed in a little bit longer, but you know what? 20% in a little bit of time is nothing to sniff about. And here we seem to be in no man's land. Oh, out. This is just high stress now. We don't know what's going to happen. Just a lot of volume, dumped a lot of stock, and now we're going sideways. So could have, could have stayed in a little bit longer, but that's okay. All right, so there we go. This is uh, what happened on some of the little bit of what happened on uh, the 24th. So here we go. We were in uh, Beyond Meat. About uh, 20 minutes, 50%. Um, Vantech Vectors. We were in that quite a bit, uh, two and a half hours, 66%, but I'll stay in for that. And Zoom, 17 minutes, 19.8%. Not bad. So there you go. We, we like to say, you know, you can make 10% in 10 minutes. Of course, that doesn't mean you turn on your computer, make a trade. 10 minutes later, you make money and get out. But the trades are 10%. Uh, but if you're looking at longer, if you're looking at more money, obviously those are going to be longer. And with the swings that we're seeing in the market, uh, you just want to ride those, ride those waves for as long as you can. And you're going to be seeing some pretty good results. So... All right, so that's the Day Trader Genius Daily Review for June 24th. If you want to know how to use, if you want to know how to trade options and you want to know how to use our program, in the descriptions are, um, are links to some of our courses. Take the courses once you've done the course a couple times so that you've practiced and you're not practiced, but you, you're familiar with, this, you know, with the systems and everything else. Uh, we have a 30-day free trial. You can try that. We'll put you together with one of our coaches, and uh, we'll get you doing this fast, and that's the key. Uh, you want to take advantage of their experience, and um, this software has a lot of exclusive indicators. There's a lot of stuff in here that is nowhere to be found anywhere else. Alan, our, our founder, uh, programmed them all in after looking at tens and tens of thousands of charts and he saw which indicators worked which ones didn't and then he started noticing different trends and he created uh, he created this program so we'll see you next time bye bye